Yeah, man. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy, happy Easter Monday. In a phone and look for neck of the woods and all of Happy and a peaceful Easter Monday from West Indian Delights to you all out there. Yeah, man. What up? What up? What up? And as a respect, happy and peaceful Easter Monday. Are your girl, Debbie from Dunga Yard. But here what happened? We're not going to do no cooking today. And after all them all the sitting, sitting there and cooking, we have left back, so we're not going to bother. But I go embark. Well, me, I go just carry a little, put a little, you know, a little, just a slight little Jamaican kitchen exercise. This is the Jamaican color, you know. This is the Jamaican color, though. Very powerful style. So, I'm just going to show you. Remember, the other one on my video, you see cut up. So, me, I'm ready for cook. I'm just going to show you the little exercise, how you get it to what the stage where you did see me with it. So. And I don't think nobody will have some different size knives, you know. Not three different size knives. Alright. We have break off here. We have break off here. We have break off here. These are small stocks, so come off of the big ones. Here. The stock, when you remember, when you make your green juice, you can't see a box of these. A lot of people, when they make it, they show these now, but you don't have to. Once it's young like this, you don't have to throw it away. Yeah, and it's good. This is the main part. You don't throw it. A lot of people throw it away. You don't throw it away. I mean, I think nobody where born and grow Jamaica. No, no. Never. If they never clean and cut it, well, they must see somebody at it. So everybody who else they are about America, England, Canada, you see it in the West Indian store. You're afraid to buy it. And you, you, you know, no offer prepared. So I'm going to show you now. We're not going to do all of this. You know. We're just going to do a small portion just to show you. Yeah, man. Let's see my food pan. Yep. First and foremost, before we start doing that, we have kept some water. Yeah. Yeah. And inside of that pan, you know, we have put some salt. Just use your judgment, man. Then watch this. This is a new measurement, you know. We not we just go soak it in ice and full of salt. This is a new measurement, cool. Mm -hmm. So we have put water here, depending on the amount. You can just watch me so me do one depending on the amount. And you have your salt water prepared. Because as you go along and you clean it, you're going to leave it in the salt water to soak up. So, it is a very, it kind of is a little tedious little kitchen exercise to so get it the proper way. So, you, you want to get rid of these, the strips, because no matter what you do, if when you cook it, you're going to see this coming out and you can't show it. So, this is, we call it strip down here. So, you take off these. Right? You try to get it off. Just like that. Alright. And you search out as you go along. Just a small light, maybe I'll show you. Right? And you straight off a strip. And this is how it looks. Yeah. Because the strip come down from it comes straight onto the back to the stem. Let me show you. Zoom in on it, let me them see. The, the strip come from off the stalk, comes straight down onto the leaf, the stem part of the leaf. So you have to get it like that. So when you strip, you notice know, it come right down and it come right off. Okay? Yep. This is how it goes. So, you have to so if it even break off when you're coming down, you have to um, catch it back from where it stop and bring it straight off. See it there? Right off from the stalk, come right down onto the straight part here, the stem and the leaf. This is where it, all of the strip is. Alright, so you try to get rid of those. Right? Alright. And as you do it, you put it inside of the water. Yeah? Another one. You do it fast. You use the smaller the knife is strip it, the faster you go. Right? Smaller the knife, the faster you go. Yeah. So in the interest of time, we're not going to do all of this. But we're just going to show you. Kind of little technical, and I'm not gonna tell you it's one of the most pleasant kitchen exercises. I would never lie to you. Remember, we tell you that we are joke people, you know. But just for the record, for who that like, and as you go along, you check your leaves, and if they're not so pretty to your suit, you discard them, get rid of them. All right, so me, I go go little faster. Like, how me show you that now, how me show me is all about me, I go move fast in the interest of time. But in the meantime, in between time, me, I, uh, me I do this. 
we have a ride. You know me and the ride down with some business. This is a very big league, but it kinda, you know, so we're not gonna bother with that. Yeah, we we'll find piece more right here. Remember me tell us you can use this, cut it, wash it, freeze it in a bag, and use it in a your green juice. It's really good. Right? So we are gonna do that as we go along. Mm -hmm. Leave it in the water. About two minutes just to salt for the salt to take care of it. So we this is this is the cleansing process, the salt water. Leaving it into the salt water is the cleansing process, right? We cut off the little piece down there, and in here, so it look like it's bad, so we cut off. No, but I waste it, you know, see? And we get it off, right? Like that, okay. Just maybe two or three more little stars. We get that out of the way. You have more, you do whatever, no matter how much more you have, same procedure. Next patient, same treatment. Okay? Mm. Alright. These, nobody wash these because me take it out of the refrigerator and at the time, at the time it's so hot, it get dried up. It's easily dried up, you know. You can't eat no fresh. It must be rehydrated at all times. Alright. So now, may I talk to you now? May I tell you now, say. Any little thing on and annoying on other life for no. Just ask questions. Just request it. These, these young enough, these not have much, but you know, as we go along. You just ask and we'll try our very best to do it. I'm not gonna guarantee you that as soon as you ask, you'll get it same time. Because you know sometimes some of the things take time, right? So right. We'll leave it in other salt water little. And talk to another little. Me introduce me, me know if I'm not sure I did watch the intro, but I'll introduce myself. I did a video saying that we are true people. Me I true anything up on camera when me at that in and out of my kitchen, off camera, on camera. This is who I am, Debbie. Everybody who know Debbie, whether they know me from down here, they know me from up there, wherever. This is me. As me want my mouth to talk, everybody find it funny. This is me. I am the re if you get to know me in a real real life, a same way. I mean person to person. This, this is who I am. So that's it. Anyhow, we have this in other water. So we are gonna throw it out for the salt water now, right? So after we throw it out for the salt water, you're still going to need to rinse it. Probably about two more times. You hold it up, start by start, and make it run. Zoom in pan it, them see what I do. You make it run under the pipe. Yeah. Start by start. You hold it up and make it run. Running water. Running, running water to clean it off. Yeah. Clean, running water. Up and down. You, if you have a big bungalow, you want to do it in small. Let me tell you, I just have to do this for demonstration. So whatever amount, you do it just the same. And you let it drain. You let it drain. Alright? Coming back over here now to the cutting board. We clean the cutting board, but because we didn't put it on it, make me make sure it's it. we eat another little wipe. If we rinse off with knife, You're going to put it together now in a little bundle. Depends on how much you know your hand can manage. Right? And you want to get everybody even. At this stage, you're going to want a bigger knife. We call it cut up down here, but you guys will say sure. So if you put it together like this. Some people do it like this, you know, hold it tight. But you may like how you're new to it. Me have vet tonight, so we can do that. But you watch it. You put it down. And your cutting board. And you start to shrink. Fine. Fine. But at the same time, the hand where you use holy, you apply some pressure. Keeping it together. Keeping it together. You see what it look like? This is the start part. Apply some pressure. Keeping it together. Keeping it together. Keeping it. Back out a little forget your space, right? Keeping it together. Keeping it. Keeping it. Keeping it. Apply the pressure right here, keeping it together, together, right? So as you get it, you start to move a little faster. 
right? Very thin, shredding. People cut it when they're going to cut it a bit big, but it's, I think it's better when you shred it like this. Very fine. Remember, you know, keep it together. Hold it. Get it like that. Keep it together. 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 Keeping it. Anybody get out of range, get them back in range. Together. Together. Make sure your cutting board in good order. It's not chamber chamber. You know, sometimes when you get old, the board start the knife, the constant cutting with the knife, the board start to shred. Make sure that is not happening because it will end up get some inside of your color. Look, zoom in, make them see what is happening right here. Right? So move as you go along. And if you have 20, 30 bundle leave, this is how you deal with it. This is how you treat it. Right? When you reach down your son, it gets small. You just hold it up and make a nice little, you know, whatever, little, whatever you want to call that. Keeping it together. Applying the pressure from here. The pressure, the pressure to keep it together. Together. Careful enough. Careful. And never remember, your knife must be exceptionally sharp to get it like this give them a shot at it there this is the shredded clean and shredded jamaican color look ready for steaming you get a clean ziplock make sure it not in the ear this is all you're not ready to use it you put it in there the store make sure no ear get inside of it this can keep in the fridge up to six to seven days in the refrigerator not in the freezer no no if you put it in the freezer and come out is that any way you put this in the freezer it is a no no you understand this is it the jamaican clean washed and shredded color look ready to steam boom yeah right so my mama tell you, you now this was what this little video is all about hi one more little thing for the record my life is built on cooking, right? I feed my feed people at daytime. I feed people. I do offices, office lunches, sorry. So any small, anybody will have any, any small, you know, look at occasion. I take in catering. I am a caterer. That's what I do. You know, look at functions, look at things. Never link below or you, or you can get in touch with me, you know. And then I can't stand you do that thing and so on. Yeah, man. I cook, I cook for my living. Me not care less. You understand? Yeah. So if if you have one little function, you like a baby shower, you like a wake, you like a night night, you like a setup, you want some little finger food, you want some little this. If you have a function, you don't even know where you have to plan for the menu. Link with. So we are gonna leave a link in the comments below. Yes. Remember to thumbs up the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Yes. Turn on your notifications. Yeah. Leave your comments below. Feel free. Feel free. Anything you see me cook and you try it and it not turn out all like mine. Just say daddy. Me did do it enough. And it never wait till me go wrong. We're here. We are true people. We're not bash people. We support people. Okay? Remember. Right? So, I sign me a sign out, you know. Me not tarry. Sign me a sign out. So listen to me. I debbie from Dunga Yard. Boop.